the EV2 and Canadian still technically fall. Yeah. Dad's all pro in it. He's a good guy. Hi, we're here today for the next part of our session on removing the motor and transmission from the electric Jeep for inspection purposes to make sure everything's working as it should. We've got the drive shaft disconnected, which is there, and we've uh, inserted a uh, dummy yoke, which is this piece here that doesn't have a drive shaft connected to keep all of our expensive synthetic fluid from leaking all over the floor. Next, what we've done is we've put the uh, hook on the adapter plate, which is right there at the firewall, to give us two mounting points to um, allow us to tilt the assembly up and down to get it clear of all the uh, parts that are part of the Jeep frame. So now we're putting the tilter on. we can get this motor mount unbolted from the frame. Bolts already been removed from this motor mount. Describe. Being that this transmission that we've used in the electric Jeep is from an S10, it's what they call a top loader. So in order to get the engine and transmission removed from the vehicle, you have to take the shifter out. And then that's take, taken out, and uh, that will allow us to get the thing to move forward and out of the vehicle. Okay. more height. Are we done? Let's pull it back. Okay, after's away. We want to set it on anything? Or?
The electric car is here if you want it to be.